Hey, you're watching Vinyl for Miles, your best resource for music, audio, gear, and vinyl reviews. Today we're taking a little break from vinyl and looking at some music gear. We got this guitar amp from Jet City Custom. Stick around. Hey, welcome to the channel. I am Michael. Today we're looking at a guitar amp from Jet City Custom. We typically do vinyl, audio gear, hi-fi gear on this channel, but I thought why not take a little break and focus on one of my passions, which is playing guitar, and one of my newest pieces of gear, which is this Jet City Custom 2.X. Before we dive into the details and the specs on this amp, why don't we take a listen to this in a mix? Let's go. So that is how the amp sounds in the mix. What I have here today is the Custom LTD 2.X from Jet City Custom. Previously, their amps were built overseas. Uh, they were not hand assembled here and they had a large distribution deal with like Guitar Center, Musician's Friend, all those other distributors. They are now no longer a part of that distribution and they are fully custom and they're fully assembled and fully made in the USA. So what you're getting is a custom tailored boutique amp to whatever specifications you tell them to. You can choose the base model, which I think starts at $4.99, or you can do a ton of different mods. If you go onto jetcitycustom.com, you can look at all of the mods on the menu. Uh, what I have here is the Captain Crunch on channel one and a brown mod on channel two. So channel one's kind of like Guns N' Roses, Dokken, 80s, kind of hot rotted martial tone. Channel 2 is the brown mod, so think of like Friedman BE100 or think of, you know, Steve I, that kind of tone right there. Really thick, fat sounding overdrive. All right, so why don't we go ahead and go through the settings on the amp. Captain Crunch is channel 1. There's a gain boost in the very front here on the switch. It's not foot switchable. On the back, I have the depth mod, which is at about noon. Everything else is at about noon. I'm just going to crank the presence up a little bit. So why don't we go ahead and play through this and kind of hear the tones. I'm gonna start off with some low gain settings. Again, this is not a clean amp, so it's gonna start sounding like classic rock instantly. So let's go ahead and hear it. Go ahead and turn the gain boost on. I'm gonna play that same riff so you can hear the difference. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put an overdrive in front of the amp to do some lead tones, just so you can hear what it sounds like boosted. Thank 
All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and crank the gain up even higher. I'm gonna go ahead and dime the gain all the way. And I'm at about six on the master volume now. Even at 10, you can still hear the individual notes going on on the guitar. Okay. Let's go ahead and switch over to the brown modded channel. I'm starting off with the gain at two. Everything else is the same. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the gain up a little bit. So now I'm at two, I'm at three. I'm gonna go ahead and put an overdrive in front of the amp now. All right, we're gonna go ahead and dime the gain all the way to hear what it sounds like. So that's dimed, and let's put it overdrive in front of Yeah, so this has a shit ton of gain on it. What we do now is just back off the gain on here and give you an idea of what the effects loop sounds like. So I have JHS delay here, and what I'm gonna do is go through Captain Crunch first and kind of show you how the delay sounds through the loop. Then on the brown channel, here's what the delay sounds like. All 
All right, there you have it. So this is the Jet City 2.x custom amp. I have the Captain Crunch Brown Mod. Every amp is gonna sound different, but this is just my configuration. So if you want the same thing, there's a link below. Go to custom order and you can pull up all these mods and have your amp sounding just like this. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I am Michael. You're watching Vinyl for Miles. Until next time, rock on. See ya.